I'm gonna take my shirt off. He can use his arms. Let's go. You ever be that scared? Oh, oh. Are you tired of coming, little guy? <laughs> that is the funniest thing to ever say in bed, by the way. You like that, you retard? Leave me alone. How do you hate her so much that you decided to poison her? Who has ever heard of a skinwalker before? This was you losing your virginity? Yeah! Oh no! Welcome to Haunted Homies with Matt Wright, Elton Castell, and Corey Shearer. A show about all things that haunt you. From ghosts and monsters to worse life decisions, bad breakups, embarrassing moments, and unforgettable stories. All told live from within Comedy Club. <laughs> Wow! Phoenix, what's up? How is everyone? Everyone's okay? Oh my gosh. Good to see you guys, man. Welcome to Haunted Homies. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. What is it, Wednesday? No jobs. That's what's up. <laughs> my round of applause. How many people here do believe in the paranormal? Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, Has good. anyone ever... Legitimately, I want to know: Has anyone ever seen someone get thrown across a room non-sexually? Or, or yeah, or, yes. Uh, Paranormal like, wise, not the phoenix kind. Like any any levitation. Like any, has anyone ever witnessed something of that nature? Because we've asked this before, and we've had some crazy answers. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone strongly like throw up a hand if you have seen something? Have unreal? you really? Right here. What happened? Okay. Around with a Ouija board and uh, like a toolbox next to it, started shaking. You f***ed around with a Ouija board and the toolbox started shaking. The ghost was Mexican? <laughs> Impressive. I was with her and my other sister. We sat in the bed and we were sweating our asses off. Why was there a toolbox next to the bed? <laughs> what kind of batteries does your vibrator take? <laughs> You're like, I gotta get this drill battery out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you drinking a f fish jar? What? Look at this. <laughs> Can I see this real quick? <laughs> oh my God. That's a swear jar. Like, you have to throw this on a coach after they win the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> this is f ridiculous. Here, take that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. No, I don't want to drink at the same time, dude. So anyone else, has anyone else ever had an insane experience? Like you saw someone's head do a full my 360. My boy back here is, uh, uh, he's excited. What, oh, what happened with you, my boy? At the old house I used to live in, I would see cabinets and doors move by themselves. You would see who? Cabinets and doors move by themselves. Yeah. Is it, cabinets is it, and doors would open by themselves? Was the, the AC on? on? No, the AC was not on. Sound like your ghost got munchies. Wait, is there just one ghost in your neighborhood just going around fixing sh He's got the toolbox <laughs> over here. <laughs> Y'all just got the tidiest <laughs> ghost ever. <laughs> so that was, is that the extent of it though? Like kind of doors and cabinets? Yeah, so uh, there'd be times where I would see something like peek over like behind the wall and like, stare at me. I would think it'd be my glasses, but I would see a dark figure <laughs> look at me. So you would see like a dark figure poke, poke around the corner. You thought maybe it was your glasses, but as soon as you would look right at it, it would go away. I think that's astigmatism. <laughs> or is that a cataract? Like, you know, like you see the little floaty in your eye. You're like, what the f is? And you keep trying to find it. Every time you try to look right at it. There's a goddamn orb. Away. No, yeah. no, it's not an orb. Never mind. <laughs> it's mental health. That's Has anyone all. like... Uh, uh, really, um, look, we've had a story about a child who was thrown across the room and they had evidence of it. Has anyone seen something like that? Anything of that nature? Okay. Oh, wait, right Your there. Hand went up really? slowly. What is it? Yeah, with a finger up. When I was a kid, I would be like thrown out of my bed by something. I'd get like three bruises or three scratches or whatever. This is what I want to hear. Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> great. When you, for context, I said, this is what I want to hear. And she said, when I was a kid, I used to get thrown out of bed and get bruised and scratched. And, and I was like, great. Love it. Wow. When I was your, I mean, did your house have a, a history of any kind of hauntings? Is it older? Did your family experience anything? It's very old. It's been torn down now. I don't, I don't know. They tore the whole house down. Yeah. Was it the guy with the toolbox? 
<laughs> again, <laughs> little by little. <laughs> Around how old were you when this happened? I moved into that house at two, and I moved out at like fourteen. So in that age range. That oh, you're there for like twelve years, two to fourteen, yeah. and it terrorized you this whole time. <laughs> at no point you're like, Mom, I, we gotta move. I'm getting my ass kicked in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Krueger is just f- me up. <laughs> She didn't even bl- see. That's the sc- that to me is the scariest thing about the paranormal is that so many people don't believe. Imagine, imagine you're going through such a traumatizing, yeah. terrifying situation, and nobody f- believes you. Yep. Is that not is, is that not the scariest thing in the world to you? You would be terrified with yep. nobody you can run to. I know. And you had you had bruises and scratches, and your mom assumed that you were doing it to yourself, or what? Well, did, I don't know. I used to your mom just didn't give a. F- you at do all. like attention. <laughs> I'm glad that house burnt down. This sounds f- dangerous. Was it your mom? Was your mom just going in your room in the you middle of the night? You can tell us. Like, <laughs> you can tell us the truth. You can tell us. She that would can't explain, hurt you anymore. That would explain why she didn't believe you. She was like, it was me, you dumb <laughs> You think it's a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> it's just your future trauma. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Dude, that Christmas. really is the worst thing, though. Like, when something paranormal happens to you very young and your family and parents don't believe you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I went through that. I, I seriously did. I remember one night, I'll make this a long story short, but there was a mirror in my room, and I remember waking up, and it looked like I was levitating. Like, I was probably 14, 15 years old, and I'm looking at the mirror, and I'm, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I jump out of my bed, and I go running to my parents' room, and I'm bawling, crying. And they just look at me and they're like, Corey, go back to bed. No one believed me. But they believe me now that I ghost hunt. (laughs) Now they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That probably did happen. It just wasn't at the house. Yeah. Mm, Yeah. That's the scariest thing. It sucks because how do you prove that, you know? And that's like your home. You're supposed to feel the most safe and most comfortable in your own home. Yeah. But I played (sighs) the Ouija board in there every day for like six years. So (laughs) that could have been why I levitated. Play Monopoly like a regular family, dude. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Can I, uh, one more question. When did it end? Did it only end when you moved out of the house? I'm just, it ended when you moved out of the house. And Ooh. so, okay, so it more than likely it was attributed to the house. And the house yeah. is gone now. Got it. Damn it. Okay. That's always a fascinating thing to dive into. You never, you never know what the purpose is or the origin of a haunt. You know, is it attached? It could be an object somebody gave to you. We moved into this house um, in northern Ohio when I was in high school. And we moved in. Like, the basement was going to be, like, kind of, like, my hangout in my room and everything. It was this big basement. We moved in. I, I never felt any kind of way about it whatsoever. And then my stepdad started going to these local auctions around our around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And he would bring home all these all this old furniture and, like, mm-hmm. curio cabinets and stuff like that. All this weird shit started happening. So you never know if it's an object. It could be the land that it's on. It could be the house itself. It could be you. You never quite know. I think it's yeah. always something fascinating to dive into. Yeah. That's why I like like my one of my favorite parts of the investigation is getting like the historical rundown of where we're at. Yeah. I, I love that. I, I think the favorite theory that we came across was we went to the Conjuring House. Uh, we were there for two nights, mm-hmm. and on night one Did we you stay there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On night one, we had the theory that the Conjuring House, the entity that's in there, thrives and is created off of fear. Yep. Mm. That the only way it can live is to, is to scare someone because fear is the fastest way to expel energy from someone. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. What? It was cum. <laughs> <laughs> you ever be that scared? Oh! oh. <laughs> you know... We've never tried ghost hunting like that. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Where you at, Demon? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you want, you want energy? Come on. Oh, wait. It was just a little, little eye floaty. It was just a little eye floaty? Oh, that's right. what the eye floaty is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, little, yeah. a little rogue jizz. That's all, that's all it is. Is that eye Anyways, glue? welcome to the Paranormal Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we do have some stories that we have from audience members here, and a good amount, half of them are paranormal, half of them are just kind of funny incidents that people have gone through that haunt them traumatically. So just to kind of break it up, break up the show a little bit, we're going to read some of the funny stories first, and then we'll get back to the paranormal ones. Cool? And the paranormal ones are fucking amazing tonight, so are you guys ready for to do this? You ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah Phoenix came through, man. Y'all are yeah. fucked for up. The, for the non-paranormal stories, what the 
Phoenix. <laughs> Y'all are insane. You ready for this? Here, ready? I gave laxatives to my math teacher and she left early. I wonder why. Just the log line. Okay. When I was a sophomore in high school, I had this geometry teacher and she was awful. Mrs. Kurtz. Everyone, boo. Boo. Yeah. Mrs. Kurtz. She's in here. She's an avid fan. <laughs> Well, she failed me on some work and I was pissed. I knew she didn't like me because how did I fail when I copied someone else's work who got an A? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> so I decided to make her something sweet. I went and bought chocolate laxatives, put them in some brownies just for her. I didn't put two or three pieces. I put the whole box. Can you OD on laxatives? <laughs> I think you can empty everything out of you, yeah. yeah. Uh, I made my own little batch to take to school. She was so happy to get her brownies. She talked about how chocolatey and yummy they were. <laughs> An hour goes by and she's holding her stomach. You can see the sweat on this woman's face. When class ended, she runs out to the bathroom, pushing students out of the way. <laughs> Heard from another friend, she just kept running to the bathroom. The next period, she actually had to go home because she herself. <laughs> she was absent the next day, still <laughs> sh <laughs> She tried to say it was me, but I was like, how? I had brownies too and I was fine. Sorry, not sorry, Mrs. Kurtz. <laughs> Beautiful. This is what... No. <laughs> say it. No. What, no, say it. Say it. This is why people shoot up schools, dude. Like, this is exactly why. You imagine thinking you're getting a delicious treat at the end of exam period, maybe, and you end up yourself? I'm going back in there. Who did this? Kek, kek. <laughs> I'm sorry. That would be my solution. You made me myself in front of the entire school? <laughs> You. Mrs. Kurtz is just walking down the hall. Don't go to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Mrs. Kurtz? We have geometry. All right, that was too far. Oh, I would never let that go. All right, school. All right, class, we've got a pop quiz today. You got to be <laughs> me. I would never let that go, ever. <laughs> Michelle, where are you at? Right there? Michelle. Police. <laughs> we found her. Somebody actually just got a like like prison time for uh, laxatives in their entire school. What really? Yeah, yeah. I, I just I just read it. I think it was on Twitter the other day or something like that. Thank God they didn't have that law when I was in high school. I know. <laughs> Thank God. So why why did you hate this teacher really? Yeah, she was a bitch. <laughs> We've all got a teacher that was a hundred percent. I well, understand that. <laughs> She would make inappropriate comments to students like what? Well, like there was, I don't know, some picture of some like, famous person. She'd like, oh, I'm going to do some stuff later. It'd be a famous person. And she'd be like, I want to do some stuff to him. What class is this? Is she still teaching? <laughs> is she still? <laughs> is there a picture of me on there? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you say that there is a, a poster of a famous person? A good looking dude. She's like, dang. That guy's good looking. I want to go home with him. Quick, guys, let's make her <laughs> himself. Also, oh, what posters are famous? You mean like Napoleon? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I know. Look at George Washington's fine. I know he ain't got no teeth, but you know, fine as hell. <laughs> yeah, she sounds a little bit like a creep. Yeah. But how, also, maybe like the coolest teacher ever. So I don't know. How do you, you know, how do you, how you hate her it. so much that you decided to poison her? <laughs> So because you weren't doing well in school, you said, it can't be me, I'm cheating. Obviously, I'm not the bad student here. It's got to be my bitch of a teacher who needs to go to the hospital. Do you understand what you're saying? This is good, though. This yeah, is good. Yeah, this yeah. is good. Get it out. Yeah, I think you were just in the wrong class. So she had a preference for teeth. She had a preference for what? Swim team? Oh yeah, poison this nerd. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she would put the blacks and the Mexicans on one side and the white kids on the other side of the pool. Well, she knew who couldn't swim. <laughs> she was like, I mean, I know who's not team captain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just saying. Shallow end, deep end. Shallow end, deep end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm kind of on your side again, so. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. but the, ball, the balls to poison a teacher, though? Like, did you, did you think you were going to get caught at all? Like, was it not going to get traced back to you? Like, didn't you bring in the brownies? No, she never found out it was me. She never knew it was you. She's going to right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the statute of limitations on food poisoning? Does anybody know? <laughs> Zero? Let's go. That's what's up. <laughs> Do you want to wave hi to Mrs. Kurtz real quick? <laughs> oh, no, you no, no, no. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> You get it? Is she? Yeah. Anyways. All right. It. Next story. Wait, Thank you can for... I, can I, ask, can I ask one question? If you got a question? Okay. I, as a kid growing up, I was like, I loved pranks. Is there anyone who has done Ooh. a fucking prank that is absolutely... Wit- on that one has any has anyone great choice of words thank you has anyone pulled off a prank i like i need to know like this is like you should go to jail for what you did you look so innocent which makes me think what you did is horrendous what what did you do give me like a one sentence huh oh wait your mom did it that's that that we, we want to know that the person in the room is here so we can hire an attorney and target you so is there anybody, anyone here? Anybody want to incriminate themselves with a better prank? I put chocolate in the pool thinking it would be funny. I didn't know he couldn't swim. You pushed your uncle in the pool and you didn't know he couldn't swim? That's attempted murder. That's not a prank. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody knew he couldn't swim except his wife. And we only found out because she jumped in after <laughs> His wife knew. Do you know who, who else knew he couldn't swim? Mrs. Kurtz also probably knew wow. he couldn't swim. What's your uncle's ethnicity? Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> Be mad at stereotypes all y'all want. Matt, right. this was your Second choice. Story? Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, remember okay. when I said y'all were wild? <laughs> yeah, Phoenix came through on the stories. All right. <clears throat> Logline hookup gone wild. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's just um, yeah, let's not do that. I don't. I don't like that energy at all. I'll do it. I'll f-ing read it. The fact that this is a story and they're sitting right there, y'all don't know what you're in for. It's gonna be a treat. Okay. Shut up. I was hooking up with a guy one time. I was hooking up with a guy one time, and he and we he started making out with me. Then paused and said, "You like that, you f-ing retard?" <laughs> that is the funniest thing to ever say in bed. By the way, you like that, you. F-ing Retar- bro, of all like the kinky things to be called in bed, you <laughs> retard. <laughs> You're not even supposed to say that. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just like, I want you to f- me real slow. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go down on me like you have the syndrome. <laughs> He had you down syndrome. That's what he had. I need you to satisfy all of my sexual special needs. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to read the rest of it. It doesn't top that, but. And I started laughing my ass off, and he looked at me with a straight face and was like. I could not stop laughing and had to leave ASAP. Never saw or spoke to him again. Wow. Wow. Um. You ran into him? Yes, yes. I picked up another friend from a party, and it was his party. <laughs> it was his party? Well, that's awesome. How, how big of a party was it? It was like, small enough for them to know each 
other. <laughs> well, I just didn't know if he had like a shuttle or like a shorter bus, or I didn't know how they were. I didn't know what the transportation was, method was for the party. Yeah. I heard that party was retarded, dog. <laughs> Dude, there was a whole song called that. I think it was a Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Let's man. get. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. Man. It. God damn, we gotta bring that word back, man. God damn it. <laughs> Let's get it trending, guys. <laughs> it's not what the publicity we want for the podcast. <laughs> so to clarify, you didn't do it, right? Like you didn't do what he wanted. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, then no follow up. Thank you. Third story. <laughs> some wa- Bro, if you don't think I'm saying that in the bedroom next time, do it. One thing about me, I'll ruin a mood, dog. I swear to God. My favorite thing, my go-to is like if I'm making out with a girl and it's like if it's like there's nothing on, like no music or anything, and she's like, put some music on. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, maybe it's like some Tory Lanez, some Price and Taylor. I'm like, I, I got you. I'll roll over. And there's always a delay to the beginning of this song, which makes it even better. I put on Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> I'm like, F- you like that, you f- retard. <laughs> 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 well, you don't like slow jams? Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I know, but Cotton Eye Joe's the, it's, dude, I'll ruin a mood. That's a good one. God. That's a good one. I swear to God. All right, third story. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Somehow these stories are getting it weirder. All right. The log line of this story reads, The first time I had sex, I was sick in a hospital, practically quadriplegic, and got caught by my doctor, nurse, and mom. Practically? Practically. Okay. I'll read the story quickly. The ending is ridiculous. I grew up religious, so it was always preached at that sex before marriage was wrong, and I'd go to hell if I did it. I'm 21 years old and just started seeing this girl and she really wanted to go all the way. I was over religion, but my parents didn't know yet, so we had a date planned and it was finally going to happen. I wake up in the morning before and feeling incredibly weak and two hours later, I couldn't even stand on my own two feet for more than 20 seconds without collapsing. I end up going to the ER and long story short, I get diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Might have said that wrong. Five weeks later, I'm in a full care rehabilitation center learning to walk again, but still, for the most part, completely quadriplegic who struggles to even blink. Gr- this girl has been visiting, uh, visiting me, my birthday passes, and she asks if I think I can have sex. I literally have no idea if my d- even works currently because I can't even move my arm hand around enough to touch myself. Good details. But... Not wanting to disappoint, I say yes. Rally. (laughs) And then I'm confused, wondering this is an amazing or the worst experience of my life, laying there watching her do the work. Then I hear it, the door swings open. It's fairly dark, you can hear the sounds of the machines in the hospital room, so it's quiet and I see a nurse with a clipboard walk in. She turns the dim night light on, and then right behind her, the night doctor and my mom, who unknown to me had been planning on coming back for the night to stay with me. The girl doesn't move. She doesn't jump off. She does nothing. She just freezes. (laughs) Oh, man. I feel like that's harder than trying to stop peeing midstream. (laughs) Gotta be. (laughs) Gotta be. It felt like 30 minutes passed, but it was probably like five seconds. We all say that. (laughs) That was like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I say nothing. No one says anything. The nurses quickly turn the lights off after noticing what's taking place. They all back out and the door shuts. Nice. Nice. The girl still hasn't moved. I don't know what to say, and I guess all that comes to my brain, and at that point is, well, I guess we might as well finish now. Yeah. 100%. She does, and I do somehow, I think. I'm still not even sure if I did. I'm so confused, embarrassed, not even feeling what's really happening. She leaves. No one comes back in my room that night. I stayed there alone. He's like, I need medication, please. 
<laughs> Can't risk it. The next day, I'm freaking out at what the doctors and my mom are going to say. No one acknowledges it, like, at all. Everyone is acting like nothing happened. Now, I'm scared if I finished or not, and I have no idea if she's on birth control. I ask the doctor who comes in next if he can get me some plan B. The look on his face was LOL. Then he responds that this is a rehabilitation center, and even though they have medicine, he doesn't think they stock that. <laughs> That's the end of the story. Wow. Man, no excuse for whiskey ever again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, props to my man for following through. His whole body don't work, but his dick is like, nah, we will persevere. <laughs> we stand strong. <laughs> Good for him. Also, props to this girl. Yeah. How horny are you that you're like, I just can't wait to see how this pans out. I got, I got to have it now. <laughs> She's like, spank me. He's like, come on. <laughs> come show, on. Show me, me with your catheter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I want you to put your and your IV in me. Man. <laughs> no, you know what's messed up? You know her ego was so boosted the next day, she was like, he can't even walk tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'll f*** the sh out this dude. Her ego was on 10, bro. Oh my God. Wow. Who, whose story was that? Uh, Neil. Where are you at, Neil? Yeah, where are you at? There. Hey! Wait. He can use yeah. his arms! Let's go! Neil, Neil, he's Neil, back. Neil, hey. Neil, Neil, Neil. Wait, you oh, can, he's a handsome dude. Oh, this makes total sense. Can dude. you stand up? Can you? You can stand up, right? Here. Yeah. Can you stand up? Hey. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. You look like you've been using nice. your arms a lot, bro. Goddamn. Yeah, man. You had some catching up to do. Goddamn. <laughs> How was it? I can't remember it all that well. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you consent to this? I want to know. Okay. Have you smashed her since you've been back to normal? Uh, yeah, like I dated for like eight months. Now. You dated her for eight months after? Aww. Cause like, if you see me at my worst, it only gets better from here. It's a love story. Interesting. Why'd you guys end up breaking up? I just met her like a month before it happened. Oh. You just met her for a, a month before this happened? Oh, you met through uh, trauma. So, so you got better, trauma. so she broke up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Women love to fix a man, don't you? <laughs> My God. Oh, he's not crippled anymore. Oh, shame. <laughs> oh what, she was afraid you were going to walk out on her? <laughs> That's what it was. Can't have it. Can't it have was. it. Look at you now, man. Strong, back to healthy, man. Congratulations, brother. I'm, that's a f magic trick you pulled off. I really want you to know that. We're all very proud of your game. Congratulations. Killed it, man. You, you were in a wheelchair for a little bit, right? I assume? Yeah. Got it, man. Did she ever, like, ride you while she rode you? Like, was she ever, like, on your lap and you're just like, ha, ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> That could happen. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like a roller coaster on a roller coaster. I don't know. It sounds fun. What was that? I didn't. I didn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> She's at Disneyland Fast Pass. Oh. <laughs> if I would, if I would have been you and came early, I would have been like, "That's the Fast Pass, baby. That's the perks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perks, baby." All right, wait. I gotta. Did you ever get the Plan B? Uh, yeah. So I asked my. Like, you asked your dad. It can't go to CVS. <laughs> to ask your dad for plan B is so funny because you know there was a part of him that was like, wish I had this all those years ago. <laughs> Wouldn't even have to run to the store right now. Mm. I think the saddest part is like, his dad found out he lost his virginity and you couldn't even fist bump him. It's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, that's Hold how, on. I missed that part of the story. This was you losing your virginity? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Definitely... I thought you were like, I know it's better than this, but this was your first experience? <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, way to go. <laughs> Man, that's impressive. I'm impressed. Your confidence has to be through the roof at any bar. You'd be like, I fucked a girl when I couldn't even blink. And like, <laughs> look, ma, no hands. <laughs> Oh, you pull it off moves, man. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Thank you for that story very much. Thank you. Inspiring. Give it up, y'all. Give it up. Inspiring. Oh, God. Are y'all ready for this one? <laughs> when I was 15, I tried to smoke weed out of a penis pump. I thought it was a bong. Great. When I was 15, I had an older boyfriend that lived with me. He was at work and I wanted to smoke and didn't want to wait for him. So I went into one of his bags looking for a bong and grabbed what I thought was a bong. Anyways, it didn't work, obviously. And when he came home, I had it sitting on the table and asked him to show me how to use it. <laughs> He was so embarrassed and had to explain to me that it was not a bong. I was mortified. I mean, we've all been that high, right? God, dick. <laughs> I mean, at least she confused it for a bong and not like a like one like the little the little uh, the little one hitter. <laughs> she still put it to her mouth. Yeah, she did. No. <laughs> well, let me, let, me, let me see how you tried to use it first. Let me see. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. I know bongs work. Do penis pumps work? Yeah. No. Can anybody vouch? Nobody wants to own up. All right, cool. <laughs> cool, Phoenix. <laughs> Who has a penis pump? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bong. <laughs> I don't even know like the layout of a. I know it's like it's a, it's a cylindrical tube. I know, but like, where would you even think like the weed goes into? <laughs> like the urethra of it? I don't. You, you imagine if it was the other way around? Like she found the the penis pump, and he was like, "No, it's a bong. Watch, watch." <laughs> <laughs> he tries to convince her it's a bong. <laughs> I'm so high right now. Where are you at, Stephanie? Where's the penis pump, lady? Yeah. Going once. Yeah, I wouldn't speak up either. <laughs> Going twice. All right. Next story. <laughs> that was a hard one to follow up on without being able to do any questions. I think this will be the, the last funny story. Run it. Of the, of the evening. All right. All this story says as a log line, as a title, is vasectomy. That's it. Yikes. Aww. I scheduled my vasectomy after my daughter was born. <laughs> When I walked into the facility, I was feeling nervous, but knew I needed it done. Needed it done? Yo, how bad was this kid? <laughs> if you're like, I, I cannot make another one of these. <laughs> They're gonna take him away. <laughs> when the nurse handed me my gown to change into, I soon realized I was having a horrible wiener day. <laughs> it We've was, all been there. He needed Some the Some of us make it work, you know? It was hidden like a turtle. <laughs> Aww. I tried as hard as I could to yank on it to get it out, but no luck. Needed the pump. Yeah, is there, any, is there any way this is a part two of that story? No. When the nurse laid me back, she reached for it with two fingers. Aww. Bro, I myself if a girl ever went. <laughs> I would just, I'd let her pull it and I would just. <laughs> That's yours now. It said, the nurse laid me back and she reached for it with two fingers and used the smallest piece of tape she possibly could to tape it down to my stomach. It's not reaching your stomach. Down to my stomach. Your stomach? That's huge. <laughs> <laughs> this story's fake. <laughs> this is bullshit. Yeah, no one reaches their stomach. What the f***? What? <laughs> okay. He said, why did I have to be conscious for this part? I was humiliated. When I woke up, I got out of there as quickly as possible. Little did I know, this was the least of my worries. 
They told me to empty the tank as much as I could. Upon doing so, I realized blood was mixed in. So I scheduled an appointment with my primary doctor. When I told him what I was experiencing, he asked me to drop my pants and bend over the table. He stuck his finger up my butt and I peed all over his table. I was humiliated and couldn't believe what happened. Still not as bad as a girl reaching with two fingers yeah. to pull your dick. Absolutely not. I'll, I'll piss on anything rather than have that experience. That's well, you, terrifying. Oh, you want a vasectomy? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 you want you, your little peas? Want little, 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 Don't little treat it like it's a <laughs> grub worm. <laughs> Be nice to it, okay? Are you tired of coming, little guy? Oh. Yeah, you're not, you're not turning the car radio, dude. Like, relax. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. So, had the vasectomy. Obviously, that's terrifying. Got dick shamed in the middle of it. That's also terrifying. And then realized there was a problem, probably with the prostate. So, they had to go in there and get hand, hand pegged. Mm -hmm. And then he peed all over the place. Classic. This is, this is a hard life. Yeah. How, oh, I'd need, I'd need a vacation after this, dude. I just want to know how... I huh? just want to. His name's Michael, and I want to know how much you hated your daughter to make all this happen. Yeah, Michael, or, or, Michael. or was it the best daughter that you were like, "Oh, I f nailed it." <laughs> okay, sure, Michael. Where are you? Where are you at? Where? Huh? Did you just go there? There, there, digger, digger. Digger down. Digger down. Digger down. That's right. That's right. Michael, is that you back there? I, you know, it's actually right that I can't see your face. I kind of don't want to put an image to it. Wait, you can't? Describe can't. what you think he looks like. Oh. I wish I had a whiteboard, dude, and I could just, like, sketch it. What do you think a two-fingered guy looks like? Describe no, here's what I'm right not going to do. Here's, not, here's what I'm not going to do. I'm sure it was cold. He was terrified. Yeah, uh -huh. He knew he was about to get cut up yeah i also would be very 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 yes. very small if, for sure if so my, i'm not gonna shame him on this I, absolutely not the boy could be a massive grower and not a shower i'm not gonna shame him for this okay that's true big D michael um <laughs> i don't know what he looks like <laughs> I'm, let me guess the age i'm gonna say 34 41? 41. Currently, according to the, the story. Oh, okay, 41. Damn. All right, strike one. Um, white. <laughs> one for two. <laughs> but we can swim. <laughs> we just had to get rid of some swimmers of our own. That's all. Um, okay. I'm going to say... 5'11, Pisces. Uh, I don't know, dude. Verizon. I don't know. Um, Michael, let's ask, let's ask you some questions, man. Um, first of all, are you recovered now? You good? Good to go now. Okay. So you only have the one daughter, right? Oh, you didn't mention that. He has a son as well. So he did one boy, one girl. He was like, cool, clean slate. Right, well, then cut your dick off. Congratulations. That's not how a vasectomy works. Yeah, it is. It's cut, not. Cut a dick off? What? It might as well be, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. Wait, what happens, actually? They cut it. It can't come out anymore, but where does all the cum go? Let's ask Michael. It just swells up inside of you? Are you just like a walking bag full of semen right now? Like, where does it all... Oh, he's got to be angry all the time. <laughs> Is that what it is? You shoot blanks? Doesn't sound that bad. Okay. Hmm. All the juice, no seeds. That's disgustingly accurate. Wow. So freshly squeezed, no pulp. Yeah. God. That's a t-shirt. Like my OJ, dog. Absolutely. Juice me up. Okay. <laughs> no, I, never mind. I regret saying that. That was a gross thing to say. Sorry. Okay. Um, all right. Michael, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You're a trooper, and I support you. Yeah. Make some noise for vasectomies.
<laughs> sure, okay. Um, I know we said we were going to do paranormal one. Let's, we, have, we have an extra funny story, and it's just, uh, the log line kind of caught my attention, so let's just see what it is. Um, I am a tattoo artist, and this is the story of when I accidentally tattooed a penis. Accidentally. <laughs> the pain. Okay. In the beginning of my tattoo career, I was offering free tattoos as an apprentice to anyone willing to help me better my craft. I had a guy reach out and wanted to get some work done, work done and that it would be his first tattoo. Fast forward to the day of, we decided on a cat painting a butt. Okay. Uh, I'm only one line in on these ass cheeks when this guy jolts up and my needle grazes his... We both froze until he passed out moments later after nursing him back to consciousness. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Ah! After nursing him back to consciousness, he quickly realized he had been out and, it looked, and he looked at me like, well, now you have to finish it. <laughs> that, the tattoo? No, not the tattoo. <laughs> you got it, boy. You woke me up. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. It said she was tattooing his ass cheek, and he jolted up, and it got his. D d it was tucked back. He he just had it. He it tucked was, it he had between to, his he had cheeks. To been tuck well, if you're laying on your stomach, you either you either lay on your stomach or you have to tuck it back. So he silenced of the lamb himself. Yeah. While getting a tattoo. Yeah, just, I think so. <laughs> a tattoo. That's kind of. Her. There's gotta be somebody out there that has that, right? Like, 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 casually. Yeah, that for sure. I mean, yeah. There's a Prince Albert. You get a piercing. Ooh, that would f hurt, dude. That's when you get your hole pierced, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yo, I'd rather piss on my doctor's table, dude. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have. A, I don't have too many questions about that one. I just wanted to read it out loud. But that's <laughs> painful. I don't know how the next stories are gonna be scarier than that. Paranormal time, baby. Let's do it. Jeez. Now, just a reminder, these are people's, like, supposedly real experiences and encounters they have, so try to keep the table talk down to a minimum, let people listen to the detail in the story. Let's all pretend. Shut up. You, have a, you know a dude who has Fruit Loops tattooed around his How many of them? It's going up? Yeah. Ugliest Toucan Sam ever. Yeah. Good story. <laughs> wow. Okay. Paranormal time. Let's all imagine we're at a campfire together. Spooky story time. Let's get creepy. Let's do it. So this story actually is pretty nuts. It says, I almost got kidnapped by a clown in the forest. Yeah. I was in a haunted forest with my friends and my mom. I was about 12 at the time. We were in the middle of the attraction, AKA the forest. I decided that it would be funny to run up ahead of my friends and mom so I could hide and scare them. So I started to run. One of my friends followed, but couldn't keep up with me. I was running for like two minutes and all of a sudden, I saw a really tall clown walking towards me. I didn't think too much of it as I was in a haunted forest. I hide in a bush and the clown comes up to me and says, do you want to scare your mom? Can you say it like a clown? Do you want to scare your mom? <laughs> He's a clown. And I, say, <laughs> and I say, yeah, that's why I'm hiding. The clown then grabs my arm and starts to run with me. I started to scream and yell for help, but nobody did anything because I was in a haunted forest, so everyone thought it was a part of it. He is running while dragging me through the forest and off the path of the haunted forest. I start to kick and hit him. He yells at me to stop, and I finally bite him so hard. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm redoing it so when we edit the podcast, they don't know I messed up. It's okay. Reading out loud is hard. I know. He yells at me to stop. <laughs> and I finally bite him so hard that he started to bleed. I run away trying not to look back, and he's still chasing me. 
Once he sees me running towards people, he runs the opposite way. My mom asked what happened and why I had blood on my face. I tell her the story, so we speak to management and describe the clown to them to report it. They said that they didn't have a clown on staff with that description. The police finally caught the guy and he went to jail. He was actually trying to kidnap her. So so to clarify, I'm assuming this means like a haunted house type of horror. It's not a haunted paranormal forest. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I thought... From his perspective, kind of a genius plan. Yeah, because like people are consistently screaming. Yeah, perfect. your costume makes sense. Absolutely. Leading with, do you want to scare your mom? Of course, that's a cute hoax to pull. That's well, that's like that's scary genius. Actually, yeah, you're gonna adopt a kid. That's the right way to do it. Are you a are you a fan of like haunted houses and stuff like that? I, I love them because they don't terrify me, and I just like going with people that are terrified of it to just yeah. watch. It's very fun for yeah, me. Yeah, I get very like fight in in like fight fight or flight in haunted houses. I'm like if someone scares me, I'm, like, I'm afraid I'm gonna punch them in their face. <laughs> what about you, Corey? Do they scare you at all? Haunted houses? Oh uh, yeah, they scare the out of me. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> so casual. I mean, there's like there's, there's different levels to it. Obviously, there's like haunted hay rides that are like family friendly and stuff. But there's like terror towers and stuff. Like there's one in Columbus, Ohio, actually. That's like you have to make your way up X amount of levels, and each one gets scarier and scarier. Oh there are like you have to yeah. sign a waiver, right? Yeah. Exactly the same with this one because they're allowed to touch you, they're allowed to pull at you, they're allowed to curse at you, all this kind of stuff. So you have yep. to sign away. But when you get to the top level, it's something crazy too. It's like the seventh story or something like that. The only way to get down is you have to jump off the building onto one of those like gigantic parachute pads. That's the only way you can get down from the building. How f- terrifying is wow. that? Have you, have you heard of the, the more aggressive one? There was a documentary there's made a about more, it. There's a more aggressive oh, one? Oh, yeah. Yes. There's the one. I yep. think they've upped their prize money to $20,000 to anyone that can make it through the night. No one has ever done it. It's called McKamey Manor, I believe, or they, or they changed the name. It was McKamey Manor in San Diego, and then they got kicked out of the state of California, and I believe they moved it to Tennessee, and they have permission to do whatever they want to you. They do their research on you first to find out your past trauma, things you're afraid of. They can do anything. They can rip your hair out. Yep. They can piss on you. But what they are you go. allowed to do? You can't fight back? No. Oh, uh, then no. I couldn't do it. There's no way. Instinctually, you'd f- swing, yeah. right? Yeah. If somebody grabbed you by your throat, you'd swing or, or come. You know, one of them. <laughs> Imagine you get to the top level and you're like, <laughs> Normally, I gotta, you know, being choked out of my hair pulled is kind of my kink. <laughs> and he already had white face paint on, so they know he even noticed. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I do love. I, I we went to one. Uh, what was the most recent one we did in New Zealand? We went to a haunted house, and it was it was pretty good. Yeah. I, d- I do enjoy them trying their best. Yeah, you know, because I, I want I want to be scared going in there. But after you've been through a couple of them, you're like, ah, I can these people up it's yeah. fine <laughs> okay that's a good one uh, okay. so Michaela where is Michaela at back there so this guy this guy went to jail right do you know like for how long or anything I don't, I don't even know the guy's name um, you should probably figure out his name the funny thing is that's not the first time I've almost been kidnapped that's not the first time you've almost been kidnapped how did you oh you sh- must be fine <laughs> cute what was the other time In what Canada. You almost got kidnapped in Canada. Also, they were like, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did I pull your hair? Sorry. Can I, can I, sorry. So, sorry. 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 <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where in Canada? Victoria. Victoria? Like, what was the circumstance? Were you out one night or? So, I was with my brother, but my older brother, he's six years older. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, did you stop talking? Did you stop talking? Yeah, 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 yeah. She got kidnapped in the middle of that sentence. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's a third. Third time's charm. What was the circumstance in, in Canada? Um, so my older brother is six years older, but he's mentally younger. He has like 13 plus mental disorders. Like, but my parents were like, those people that like ride the bikes, like give tours. People that ride bikes where? Like, it, like to give like tours. Like, oh, tours. Like, like the little, like the little, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The okay. pedicabs. So pretty much my mom was like, oh, you two go ask how much it is. We're asking him. He's like, oh, it's this much. I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, oh, where is your guys' parents? And I was like, oh, they're right there. Like across the street. And he's like, oh, do you guys want me to give you a ride back to your parents? And I said, no. But again, I was 11, and my brother was 16, 17. So 
he it was like, no, Kayla, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. And then picks me up and puts me on there with him. And the guy starts biking down the opposite way. Of with you and your brother? Yes. And your brother didn't catch on to this? No. That he just was, was, was taking off? Just to say, he's homeless in Oregon. So... He's what? He's homeless, homeless in Oregon? Oregon? You could have just said he lives in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said I'm a from Portland. <laughs> so he was like, free ride. <laughs> Come on, sis. <laughs> but look at you out here, not kidnapped. You're here on your own will, right? <laughs> I'm here. Okay, good. Out of, out of curiosity, where, where was the, the, I just want to know, where was the haunted forest? What, it's Arizona? No, I'm actually from Washington State, and I live in a rural area. From, from, sorry, from where? Washington State. From Washington, Washington State. State. So the clown was from... I, and I live in a rural area, so it was like an actual, like, forest. <laughs> it wasn't, like, inside, like, you know, like, in a closed area. It was miles of forest. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good, that's a good spot. Um, yep, yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah. Well, I hope it doesn't happen again. But, you know, third time's a charm, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Good best of luck to you. Thank you for the story, though. That's f creepy. That's, yeah. a good one. that's a good one to kick it off, actually. It is. Damn. It is. I'm not afraid of clowns, but that's f terrifying. It's the last place I want to see one is the f forest. Yeah. Give it up for that story, and she is safe and with us tonight. She sure is. You want to bring this one to life a little bit? Oh, God. It, read it. Okay. Do it. We're, we're going to have these gentlemen bring this one to life a little bit. So for those of you who have never experienced something like this or seen a, a, a paranormal video or anything, give them the experience. Give them the vibe. Well, what's the f story? I don't know. Find out. <laughs> oh. It says, I watched a full body apparition walk across my living room, crouch down, and look at me. <laughs> okay, you be the apparition. <laughs> you be the apparition. <laughs> The story starts with, I unlocked my apartment door and stepped inside. I turned around to close the door, and when I turned back around, I took one step, and there it was. <laughs> A tall, dark figure appeared. Shirtless. Not happening, so good job. Yeah, nice try. Look what you f did. With, with his, hey guys, all right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Listen, I'm gonna take my shirt off. All you have to do is meet me in a forest in Washington. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, Jesus. Shirtless. With his. A shirtless clown, yeah. <laughs> with his penis taped to his stomach. No, he just got a scotch tape. <laughs> it's just a red nose, just right there. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the story. A tall, dark figure appeared from my room wall on the on the right side, and walked to the left towards the couch. I stood there, trying to comprehend what I was seeing. It looked like a silhouette of a person walking in my living room. The edges of the silhouette were fuzzy as it moved like I could see the dark energy making up its own image as it moved. What the f I could see the outline of its head, shoulders, arms, and legs. God damn. <laughs> ah. It swung its arms as it walked. It seemed to move fast, but in slow motion at the same time. How the, f <laughs> go check, go check, go check. Okay, okay, okay. What its is? legs moved as it walked, but there was no footstep noise coming from it. My brain wasn't processing it as I was watching. Then. It crouched down next to the couch with its back facing me as I stood there watching. It started to turn towards me while crouched with its head 
starting to face me as it looked over its shoulder. <laughs> Although it didn't have a face, for some reason, I just knew it was looking right at me. It's looking at me. No, 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 up here. You don't know that. I didn't give it any more time to do anything after that. I ran to my room and closed the door, which was thankfully right next to our apartment entrance. I had a Buddha statue in my room and I started praying, praying for it to go away. Oh dear Lord, dear Lord, please, please, please don't let that sexy, tall, dark ghost come in my room. I don't want him. I don't. Please protect me, God. Oh my God. Praying for it to leave me alone. Leave me alone. It makes it look like a <laughs> he, did. he just keeps bouncing. <laughs> he just caught me fishing. Bro, just do all the work. What's the rest of the story? <laughs> Dear Lord. Praying for it to leave me alone. Leave me alone. I kept trying to make sense of what I saw. It walked right in front of our living room window. <gasps> The sun was shining through that window, and when it walked, the sun didn't shine through it. The dark figure was dense enough that it blocked the light. What? What? <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> Ghost. I can't see. It blocked the light just like how a normal person, normal person would. Did I really just see that? Am I going crazy? <gasps> I never saw the figure again, and for some reason, the bugs stopped appearing on my bed. Whether that's related, I'll never be sure. Wait, what? The yeah, bed bugs? Wait, me, you stink. <laughs> okay. The, 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 the bed bugs went away? <laughs> like, what? She was just living with cockroaches for like a month, apparently. <laughs> was like, what? This wasn't a demon. This was, this was a dust cloud in your fucking apartment. This is a pig pen from Charlie Brown. <laughs> There's a swarm of locusts. Just, just, <laughs> that's way scarier than the early part of the story. <laughs> Whether that's related, I'll never be sure. Okay. Uh, however, typing the story out today makes me feel very nauseated, shaky, and gives me a headache. This is the experience that still affects me the most. I've seen quick shadows, and I've even gotten my leg pulled while trying to sleep. Huh. Other leg. The third one. Yeah. 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 That's the story. Uh, wow. Sierra, where, where are you at? Wow, right there. Pretty accurate, right? Yeah, hey, uh, give it up for Sierra, <laughs> y'all. Damn. And was it like deja vu? Did it happen exactly like that? You flashbacks. Got flashbacks. You're welcome. Sorry you had that sexy ghost in your house. Damn. <laughs> No, this was. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't able to listen to a lot of the story because I was too busy being present as the as the ghost. Yeah, you gotta ask some questions about this one. What What I would like to know is what the f with the the bugs, huh? Yeah. Why Why was it just casually thrown in there? Every time I would turn my apartment like fan on, a pile of bugs would appear on my bed even no. if the door was closed. Every time you would turn your fan on, a pile of bugs would appear. Me Beetles. Beetles? Ew! <laughs> For how long would this happen? I stopped turning it on after that. Like, Wait, hold on. <laughs> the fan's not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, when we first moved in, they had rats like... Oh. oh. Yeah. You There's never should have lived in this house. Yes. <laughs> the ghosts are the least of your concerns in this apartment. You the, don't live there now. The ghost is probably like, what are you doing? Get the f*** out. You f***ed up my spot. There were no roaches in here till you came around. Yeah, imagine the ghost telling his version of the story right now. So there's this b***h, right, with all these bugs. She always leave the blinds open. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she from the spirit realm? No, section eight. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how do you not throw out that mattress day one? If I saw a beetle on my bed, deuces. <laughs> What's that? So you would consistently clean your room and you'd never find any bugs. It wasn't until you turned on the fan, these bugs would just appear. <sighs> Do you think they lived on the fan? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried central AC? The AC, the AC didn't work either? You poor thing. In Arizona? Yeah. I know that apartment stunk. You poor thing. What would you say, in your best guess, what do you think it is that you saw? Was it malevolent? Was it something evil? Like, wh what do you think that you saw? If you had to say, this is the description of what this entity was. An exterminator? <laughs> Probably malevolent. It's the only ghost experience you've had that still makes you feel sick. I mean, I can understand that. I mean, that is, that is a theory that bugs are present around demonic, malevolent So nothing's ever happened to you really paranormal-wise before that? And has anything really happened after that? Or do you think that whatever you were seeing was stuck in that apartment, not so much something following you? I had one experience prior, but it was in a foreign country. Oh, the other experience you had was in a foreign country? Which country? Laos. Laos? Sounds a lot like lice. Or mouse. <laughs> or like the sister to Thailand. It's what? Like the sister country to Thailand. Sister country to Thailand. Okay. okay. We'll go check it out. Sounds creepy. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. Yeah. Terrified. Thank you for letting us bring it to life as well. I hope it was yes. uh, funny and not so offensive. And I hope it was exactly that amount of gay. I do. Okay, so uh, we're, we're gonna bring some people up on stage that we are very excited to talk to. Uh, they're, they're, they're so cool. Yeah, Jesus. Well, have you guys had a lovely evening? I feel like it's been a, an adventure of an, an evening. Felix, thanks for coming out, man. You guys were so much fun. You were so game for everything. We really appreciate you guys. At the meet and greet, we'll meet all of you guys. We have some fun merch out there. If you want a little, uh, if you want a little uh, memorabilia, we share a fun time together. And we'll see you later. Felix, have a wonderful Thank weekend. You. Thank Bye. you, guys.